Okay, so the last thing I want to talk to you about in this Kismet demonstration is how to organize your Kismet sequences into an, a list of sub-sequences that you can step down into, which can be really useful if you have a lot of different things going on inside of Kismet. Now, incidentally, you've already seen this a little bit as we were going through the videos, but here's what we've got. Now, in between recordings, at the, between the end of the last video and the start of this one, I did take just a moment and put a comment box around our explosion switch, but you've already seen how to do that. Now, we have these four individual sections. They all relate to one another, or at least some of them do, but they're not actually connected. They're all independent. And what I want to do is collapse all of them down into their own subsequence, and then we'll talk about how we can navigate between those. So I'm going to start off with our initial conditions. I'll select everything, including the comment box, right-click and choose Create New Sequence, and we'll call this level... Actually, let's call it the same thing, just without spaces. We'll use underscores instead. Initial underscore level underscore conditions. And we get a single sequence object that contains all of that information. Now, before I do anything else, let's go ahead and set the same thing up for all of our remaining node networks. So... We'll grab our light switch network, right click, and create a new sequence, and we'll call this light underscore switch. We don't really need network in there. And I'm going to drag this over here next to my first subsequence. Let's grab the next one, right click, create a new sequence, and we'll call this the door. And we'll drag this nearby as well. And then finally, let's grab the explosion switch. And we'll grab everybody. Right click, new subsequence, or new sequence, excuse me. And we'll call this explosion switch. Now, obviously, you can see where this is kind of nice just in terms of organization. Things are crushed down. So if we had a ton of Kismet in here, we can keep things very you know tight and manageable. It's easy to see what each thing does. And you can double click on any one of these subsequence nodes and affect each one of those nodes. You can go in and edit them. When you're done, up here in the upper left hand corner of the interface, you can click on open parent sequence and that'll jump you back out. But this also allows me to talk about the sequences panel. Currently at the topmost level, you'll see that our Kismet demo level has only four sequences in it. I can now expand that. And here are all of my other subsequences, and you can see how many nodes are in each one. And we can actually navigate between each of these subsequences just by clicking inside this panel. So if I want to jump down inside my explosion switch, just click on it, and we jump down inside. If I want to go inside the light switch, same thing. So it's a very fast and easy way to navigate through the various nodes. And if we hadn't done this, if we hadn't set up all of these subsequences, all of these folders you see here in the sequences panel wouldn't exist. All we'd see is Kismet Demo 04, Sequence, and then whatever the total number of nodes happen to be. So now we can actually very quickly, by name, without even having to look around and find where things are placed, we can jump into an individual section and just have a tightly focused view of the nodes that we need to edit. So it's a very nice way to stay on top of exactly what it is you want to work on, you want to change. Now, that will wrap things up for this Kismet Demo. I think the only thing I'd like to say in closing is that I highly encourage you to just get in here and start playing with Kismet. You're not really going to break anything, and you, you just might find that you've come up with some really cool kind of uh, level script or even defined your very own game just using Kismet nodes. So get in here, have fun, learn what these actions and events can do, and that will wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot. Thank you.